Hey guys, so we do have here the Huawei Honor 4X and the Asus Zenfone 2 and we just wanted to put them up against each other in a quick little battle of speed and performance so we can see which one's giving you the most value for money here uh, and we are going to boot them both up at the same time to see which one comes on first So as I suspected here, the Honor is very fast when it comes to booting up. But I think Asus could definitely improve that on the Zenfone. So you can see we are online here with both of them. And uh, I think the thing that immediately strikes me actually about the uh, this one over here is how bright the screen is. If we just disable the screen brightness here, you can see how bright it is compared to the Zenfone, which uh, just double check this. You can see it just kills my meter there, nearly as good as the S6. Whereas the Zenfone does struggle here. So definitely you're going to get a very nice bright screen here on the Huawei. Which will just get down to about medium. And uh, we can just uh, check out some of the other stuff here such as the app opening. Uh, such as eBay. In fact, I think I know why that came up quick. You can see we do have a weird multitasking here on the Huawei, but it is quite interesting. You just flick it up and it gets rid of everything. Whereas this one, we just do that. So just start again here, eBay. So that was about identical, Uber. So it looks like uh, the this one, very quick here, extremely fast. And you'll notice how it keeps the wallpaper background as the shade, which is really nice. Uh, Amazon. So a little bit quicker on the Zenfone there. Geek. Who wear Tinder identical LinkedIn about the same WhatsApp a little quicker here Viber it's probably a smidgen quicker on the Zen phone there. Wow, very back and forth here. Twitch. This one again. Very nice and quick. Uh, camera. Zen phone. <laughs> oh, I do love it when it's back and forth. So we can just check out the uh, web browsing performance here on both of them. So we can see what sort of performance we're getting and we're going to try Chrome on them because it's a little bit fairer than using the uh, ones built in so we can just start off here with the uh, Daily Mail I think a little bit quicker here starting off uh, Kotaku I do notice a bit of keyboard lag as well on the uh, 4X when it does come up. Bit uh, similar there. You 
yen quicker here on the right I think if you ask me not by a huge amount but certainly all adds up quite similar there maybe this one was a bit quicker though to load the images again and a bit quicker again I think I may give it to the Zen phone here folks uh, the uh, Huawei was uh, a little bit behind there when it came to the web browsing but still very decent nevertheless you can just uh, attempt to go crazy here and do some multitasking which is going to be quite interesting so we can see what sort of uh, well, multitasking we're getting here so we can start off with Geek both of them have 2 gigs of RAM uh, so it should be quite clear cut here Tinder this one seemed to come up very quick there LinkedIn all reload here but none of the sort on the Zen phone it's not what we like to see Uber literally identical and what else we got eBay identical again that twitch reload again so two reloads here against the uh, Zen phone which is clearly managing its resources a little bit better a bit quicker to load it again here so I'm going to have to give it to the Zen phone I think for that very nice indeed just round off the video as well with a quick little Antutu see what sort of performance we're getting both 64-bit uh, processors uh, but this one's an octa-core versus the Intel processor which is an Atom quad-core I'll forward the video obviously so it looks like the Zen phone is pushing out ahead here and uh, we do have the graphical component coming up so we are getting a PowerVR uh, GPU in the Zen phone versus the Malai uh, GPU in the 4X which surprisingly does quite well when it comes to the graphics you can see here we're getting a rough frame rate of about 20 on the 4x which is quite nice and it's about 30 34 on the Zen phone so a bit stronger performance I think you're gonna get with the Zen phone but that's to be expected it is a bit more expensive uh, and power VR chips are very high quality in terms of the gaming so we are finished here you can see we do have uh, 42,618 in terms of the score here on the uh, Zen phone compared to 30,999 on the this one which puts it just below the LG G3 and above the HEC1 which is very nice uh, which is very good actually I didn't expect to get that much but as you can see it does get it uh, and uh, I think performance in general is absolutely fantastic given the price on the this one uh, but I think uh, if you're looking for a slightly higher performance in terms of like the 
browsing, multitasking, etc. Then you're going to get that with the Zen phone because the quad core Intel is very powerful. So, uh, yeah, just a quick little video here checking out the speed and performance. Hope you did enjoy, uh, and I will see you next time. Cheers.